Hey guys, Sammy Larson here. This is Chow Time. I got my sous chef, Peter. Pete, are you ready to cook? We are doing this awesome recipe today for dogs that are allergic to chicken. It's a beautiful, light white fish called swampfish, and I call this Rocky Road. I have a lovely friend who has a dog named Rocky. Rocky was allergic to everything except fish. This recipe is one of my favorites. Look at how beautiful this is. Peter loves, loves, loves his fish. And fish is really, really good for dogs with any kind of skin allergies. Fish is also good for dogs with seizures because light flaky white fish is really easy to digest. And it's filled, filled, filled with omegas and omegas help the heart and the skin. So as we said, we're doing Rocky Road, which is this awesome recipe for dogs that are allergic to chicken. Believe it or not, it happens quite often. My friend rescued this adorable little doggy named Rocky. He was missing patches of fur. They didn't know why, they just found him on the street. He was just running amok. She rescued him. She started cooking him like chicken and rice. His hair still kept falling out and he always had diarrhea and his skin was just so dry and horrible. She took him to the vet. They did a bunch of tests, couldn't figure it out. Then they did the food elimination process. She started cooking different things for him and noticed his skin started improving. So she asked me to help and we created this awesome recipe and I call it Rocky Road because his name's Rocky. Since Rocky's allergic to chicken and it's real common with a lot of dogs, we decided to use a protein that's very, very good for dog skin and it's fish. See this fish filet? This is a swafish, S-W-A-I, Peter's trying to lick it, yuck, raw fish. So this is swafish. We're going to use about six ounces. Again, this is for a dog named Rocky, who's the same size as Pete. Since the rice wasn't really doing anything for him, we decided to do a sweet potato. This isn't a sweet potato yam. It's just a regular sweet potato. It cooks up. It looks just like a russet potato, but it still has a hint of being sweet. Then we're going to use a handful of this beautiful Persian cucumber. Cucumbers are filled with water and vitamins and it's very hydrating because this little dog Rocky really needed hydration. We're gonna use the squash for the vegetable because it's extremely hydrating. Lastly, we sprinkle on a handful of these blueberries. With Rocky, he just really needed as much vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that he could get. Here's my coconut oil. I'm gonna put some on this beautiful fishy. You have the oven at 350 and we're gonna cook it for about eight to 12 minutes. This goes very quick. You don't wanna do your fish and go do laundry or go out and have drinks and have fun or do any of that because fish gets cooked quick. So there we go. I pretty much just put on the coconut oil. If this was for my husband, it would get like hot sauce, salt, pepper. But since it's for the doggies, I'm just putting on coconut oil. So I put about a tablespoon, but on the top, smothered, and then there's some on the bottom and we're gonna put it in. Alrighty. Say bye-bye. Here we go. See you soon. When our fish is cooking, we're going to cut up this beautiful, this gorgeous yellow squash. And with this little squashy, what I'm gonna do is spoil him. Basically, I'm gonna do like a quick poach. I just wanna cook it a little bit so that I don't cook out all the vitamins and minerals. Squash is so good for doggies and humans. Like we like to, when I make this meal, I pretty much eat everything. I have a little bite of the fish, but um, I cook it just so it's not totally raw. See, I like to cut it like this. Nice, nice, nice. With this, you always wanna peel these guys because this is not like a regular old potato. It's just kind of like this, the skin is hard. When doggies have any kind of allergies or allergic to things, you want to boost their immune system, hence the potato because it's filled with vitamins and minerals. This little guy, when we put him on at the end, we're going to cut it nice and small. These are delish. Obviously, humans can eat these. Delicious. A Persian cucumber, to me, has just a little bit more flavor, kind of, than an American. 
cucumber. And they're cute and they're little. And you can just put them on it. Really makes your dish look lovely. The blueberries, since we're just using a handful, we're gonna take this out. Blueberries are a superfood. What's a superfood? It is filled with so many antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, it's like out of control, seriously. This was my favorite treat when I was young. There was a baby food called blueberry buckle. And honest to God, I've had a thing for blueberries ever since. My parents always make fun of me because I was obsessed with this, with blueberries. Blueberries are awesome, you know? They're so little and they're packed with everything yummy. Come right back and I'm gonna show you some more magic. Magic! I boiled this beautiful six ounces, gorgeous, and boiled these guys. See how nice they are? These are nice. Mmm. Very subtle squash. So, you know, they're not overdone. They're not mushad, too mushy, nothing like that. We got these ready. You guys notice how fish smells, but this fish doesn't smell bad at all. It's fresh. I got it fresh from the butcher. You always want to try to do that with your fish and try to get wild fish. I know it's hard, but just try. And um, just do your best. Always try to get organic. If you can't, it's not a big deal, but it's always good to try. Of course, this meal is going to get our beautiful Baileys. And my friend, Rocky's mom, gives her dog Baileys. That's been helping his skin too. I take it for anxiety and my eczema. I had really, really bad eczema. My Eczema is weird. Like there's a million definitions. Nothing's very clear when you look it up. Uh, the same with dog like inflammations and dog issues with skin. But basically this covers so much and helps so much with the skin and the hydration and it's an anti-inflammatory. I think the anti-inflammatory aspect of the CBD is what's helping Rocky's skin because I know that's what helps my skin because I get very red around here and the dogs get irritated little patches and I notice it gets a lot better when you add on the CBD oil. I wanna let you guys know that something besides running to the vet and trying to figure out what they're allergic to, you do that process of elimination. If your dog has some crazy allergies or reacts sometimes and you kinda of can't pinpoint it, keep a journal. It really, really helps. I really learned about journaling with your dog when I had Buddy and he had the liver disease and I would see how different foods would make him react. And I really could eliminate a lot of food that caused him distress. Growing up, I had a lasso apso for 17 years. That was my first doggy love. Her name was Maxine. She wasn't allergic to anything. Dog and crayons, crayons. She would eat crayons. Whatever color she ate, guess what? That's the same color that came out. It was always like a rainbow. It was really, really funny. And she loved lettuce. I cannot get any dogs to eat lettuce. If you guys have a dog that can eat lettuce or likes lettuce, let me know because Peter looks at lettuce like, are you kidding me, lady? And every single dog I take care of doesn't want to eat lettuce. So I'm kind of interested if I can find another dog out there that likes lettuce. Hey guys, I have exciting news. The fish is done. Oh my God. Now you always got to wear your little mitts. I have been burned so many times. My goodness. Especially when you have your little doggy around. Look at this fish, oh my God. That cooked up, seriously, that was eight minutes. This is what we're gonna do. We take a little bit of this guy, whoop. The coconut oil really enhanced the swa. <laughs> it really smells pretty good. This is gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Um, Peter's dad, Danny, my husband, he loves when I cook fish, he loves it. Right now for Pete, we're just gonna take a little bit. He's getting really excited. There's no skin on here, this little filet. Oh my God, look at Pete, he's going crazy. Look at this, oh boy. And then here's a lot of magic. He put these little guys on. This thing comes out absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, my goodness. She was like, I can't believe you put blueberries with the fish and it's good. Pete, are you ready to try? I know you've been wanting to try it. Let me try, I don't want it to be too hot for my little baby. Mmm, oh my God. Seriously? It's good, it's good guys. Pete, Pete loves his little fish. Oh, 
Boy. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, Sammy Larson Chow Time. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and like us. And you can see me and Pete and my husband and all these fun recipes. And I try to give a lot of information. Follow us on Instagram. It's Chow Time with Sammy Larson. Also, YouTube is Samantha Larson. And my Facebook is Samantha Larson. Below will be the whole recipe written out. You guys can comment questions. You could ask me lots of things about this meal and other stuff. You can tell me if your dog eats lettuce or not. Or like I was saying, my other little dog used to eat crayons. And we could talk about the chicken allergies. And just follow us and like us. Lots more awesome recipes to come. And of course, this is our awesome sponsor, Bailey's. I'm jonesing for a little bit right now. This is a new one I just opened up. Mmm.